using the board tab in scale. So we have just successfully added our first PI and our first art. We have loaded in and the board is empty. What do we do next? If we look at the top of the board, we can see that this is the web order art. We can see that it's the fifth PI and we can see which period it is. So it starts from the 13th of December to the 18th of February. Below, we can see the calendar from where the sprints occurs. And we can also see some a couple of icons here. So we have added an event milestone here. And at the 18th of January, we had said we want to deploy the web order phase one deployment. So where do we find the features for each team to break down? What I've done is I've created a program backlog team and that's where we prioritize our features. Looking at the program backlog, I've created a different column. So you can design this however you would like, but I've selected the backlog, what we're analyzing and prioritizing, and then selected for development. So we have selected five features. I've chosen the iteration path to the fifth PI, and I've also selected the area path for the teams. Looking back now into scale, we can go to the top right and we click on the adjustment icon over here with the three lines. Here we have a couple options, but we want to click on the mapping pane here. Here's how we can find the different features. I can also filter, but as a standard, it's looking at the PI. I can then look at specific sprints or other PIs that I want to look at or I can look at team specific ones if I want to take them out from the mapping pane to the teams. So let's start dragging these out to the expected delivery date for the respective teams. So now we have dragged out all the features. Perhaps I want to see dependencies. So let's say the web order phase one implementation in the team Wales, they're dependent on the integration of online payment from the external delivery team. I just select drag and drop and drop it on this specific one. We can now see that for this feature to be complete, it can't be completed unless the integration online payments is completed or delivered. So that either helps with op looking at the delivery dates. Perhaps we can push this to the third sprint. It still might not be enough. So then we can discuss with the external delivery team. Is it possible if we can move it to the second sprint? So that helps with planning. I can also drag dependencies to, to other things. So let's say the web order phase implementation, which you put an event milestone here for, is like the big delivery for this PI. So let's say the package promotion also is delivery here, and it needs the third party offerings to work. So as we can look at the time frame, we can see that the arrows are, we have two in the same sprint. So that can either be okay, or maybe perhaps we can talk with the Team Fox and look if it's possible to deliver in the second sprint. So once you get to a lot of dependencies, I can then click on refresh over here just to make sure everything is loaded. Then on the board settings, I can hide cards without dependencies. And any cards without dependencies on the board will get removed. So that helps with a little bit more of optimization. And if you work with more work items, you can also use the compact card view here. So they get smaller, so it's better, it basically gives a better overview. And I can also choose to remove the dependencies if I don't wanna look at them in a specific case. So what happens next? If we click on the board settings here, I've enabled a couple features. One is highlight dependencies, show completed items. We also have show capacity and load indicators, which is something I'm going to go through shortly, and then child items and cards. We're going to use both of these features to start breaking down and estimating the work behind each feature. I also want to allow user stories on the board. 
So currently we only have features. So let's go and add user stories or PBIs, whatever your process is using. In this case, I'm using user stories. So as you can see, I have already added a couple user stories to a specific, I can see the parents, so the package offering. I'm selected for the sprint. As a product owner, I hopefully know the velocity of my teams, which is how many story points or estimate of work can I complete during a sprint? So if you have those numbers, I can add them to the capacity of the team. So currently the owl team, they have a load of 12 where it gets the load. If I click on this user story, it has been given a story point of three and it shows a load of three here as well. Also, if I want to remove the dependencies, I can just select them like this. I can press delete and then just remove the dependencies. But looking at the board, so now we have 12 load of 12 and a capacity of 12. So it might be a little bit risky. Perhaps I want to move a user story to another sprint. So perhaps we're moving this one to the second sprint where, have, where we have a lot more room. Let's say I want to start breaking down this feature. So it already has a couple user stories and I want to add some more. And I'll, I'll press on refresh and it gets put in that sprint. I can also add more by just clicking here, add user story, or I can select here and add a user story. As you can see, it might be a lot to handle. So I can use this compact card view again, or I can just by refresh, make sure everything is done. I can remove cards without dependencies if I just want to focus on them to give a better overview. So in each column in the top right corner, as a product owner, we hope that you can put to the capacity. You don't have to use this functionality. If you don't want to use it, you can just disable it like this. So let's enable everything again. As you can see, this user story has been closed, which means it's done and it's been colored green. So in the board settings, I will go through the different options. So the first one in the markers, which I explained a little bit and exclusions. So I can put out clauses or like rulings for what do I want to remove from the board? Perhaps I want to remove uh, all work items that contains the tag, which is a specific tag. Then I can filter that way. I can also enable what fields I want to see on the cards. As you can see, I've added state, area path, parent, and iteration path. Let's say I don't want to see the state or I don't want to see the area path. Then I can just remove it and save and close. I've added a styling rule as well. If you check on this one, it's the rule name is closed. I've added that the class should be field state equals to closed. So all the cards that are have the field state closed are getting colored green. And you can optimize this however you would like. So now we've gone through most of the functionalities. In the next step, I'm going to go through risks. Thanks for watching.